Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Haddad and I'm a board member on the Society of Connecticut Opticians. What better way to say hello to all of the opticians in New England than in my yard in a snowstorm. All I'm missing is a nice warm cup of cocoa. So I'm here to tell you just a little bit about the revival in the year 2020 of the Society of Connecticut Opticians. Our board members are President Rebecca Soto, Vice President Donna Schwab, Executive Director Marian Santos, Treasurer Manny Cologne, Secretary Stacey Evans, myself, Jennifer Haddad, um, Emily Cuevas, and Herb Fletcher. Our mission statement is, of course, to inspire and unify the profession of opticianry in Connecticut. In 2020, we began with several Zoom meetings. Um, a couple of them were focused on businesses reopening and how to stay healthy and hygienic during a pandemic. Um, who knew, right? We also hosted a really, really fun event that was honoring all of the opti optical graduates in Connecticut of 2020. A lot of you might not know that we have two schools in Connecticut that offer an opticianry program. We also had an optical trivia night hosted by myself. It was really a lot of fun. And we have hosted a ABO review and an NCLE review. So we've been very active in the year 2020 when it's been very hard to be very active. Moving forward, we really hope to host a lot more um, online events. We're really hoping and working towards hosting live events again. Um, I'm not sure when that's going to happen just because of the situation in the world being what it is. But I want to encourage everyone, not just people in Connecticut, but opticians all over New England, please get involved with your state societies. It's so important for education, for legislation, regulating our licensure. Um, it's just a really, really important thing for opticians to understand that it's something to be part of. The camaraderie of being part of such a wonderful group is just amazing, and there's nothing that can replace it. I hope everyone enjoys the conference, and I hope everyone enjoys the speakers. It's going to be an amazing day of education. Hi, my name is Julie Parsons, and I'm the president of the New Hampshire Optician Society. Our email address is on the screen as well as our mailing address. We have a wonderful logo that was created for us. New Hampshire Optician Society was founded in the late 1960s. Our mission is to promote the growth of New Hampshire opticians through leadership, legislation, education, and also to ensure safety of the patients that we serve. Our society was basically founded by about five guys that got together once a month in Concord, sat down and hashed out all legislative issues they were trying to get the state license Hasn't happened yet, but we are still working on it. Our board is made up of five, an executive director, Lisa Ginn, president, myself, vice president, Scott Bellin, treasurer, Sally Krieger, and our secretary is Kathy Bowen. We have three board members at large that do a number of things for us. Our board meets several times a year to plan events, to discuss legislative happenings, whatever else that's going on in the state, we would talk about that and provide opportunities for opticians. We have quarterly meetings that are held every January, March, June, and September with our general membership. We handle business, offer a continuing education credit, and enjoy a terrific meal in the company of our fellow opticians. We have a golf tournament that last year, all the proceeds were donated to the local Lions Club. We've been involved in Special Olympics, helping them provide eyewear to those in need. We also have had social events that bring opticians together in the state, including a dinner on the Mount Washington, which sails on Lake Winnipesaukee. Yearly, we hold an educational conference offering seven credits in Concord. We solicit some of the best speakers to provide ABO and NCLE credits to all opticians in the state of New Hampshire and beyond. Also, as we know, in 2020, we weren't able to have any of these events. So we look forward to continuing the tradition soon. And we thank one for giving us the opportunity and the training to potentially have a virtual meeting in the future. We have a committee that dil diligently works on our lobbyists with our lobbyists to monitor legislative topics that arise. We recently have started to move a bill through Congress that would form an advisory council that would assist the state in all matters, complaints and communications in the optical industry. Unfortunately, when COVID hit, it had to be put on hold until next year due to the government shutdown. We will be proceeding further in the future. Opticians Association of America, we are proud members of. We attend the leadership conference every year 
The leadership support and assistance from the OAA is greatly appreciated. We want to thank all of the New England states for joining to, forget, to present this day of exceptional education. I want to give a special thanks to the Opticians Association of Massachusetts for banning us all together and training us to be able to offer this type of event in the future. I'm also glad you have decided to join us today. I hope you all enjoy this event. I look forward to doing it again in person. Hello, I'm here today to give you the State of the Union and an update on the Opticians Association of Rhode Island. My name is Fran Lynch. We have been supporting Rhode Island Opticians since 1959, I'm proud to say. And of course, we are a member of the Opticians Association of America. Our mission, much like all of you here today, uh, we are dedicated to enhancing the competency of opticians, advancing our profession, both locally and nationally, advocating for legislation in support of opticians, and protecting the welfare of the patients we serve, of course. I am proud to introduce to you the 2020 Executive Board. I work alongside these women, Christine Chan, President-elect, Linda Carpentier, Treasurer, and Jen Puffer, Secretary. We were installed earlier this year in January, and this is the 2020 Executive Board. OARI is dedicated to providing quality education, six ABO credits annually, and they're usually extremely well attended with 80 to 100 attendees yearly. Of course, um, we are doing it differently this year, but we have a history of providing quality education with great attendance. We are committed to legislative action, providing a dedicated watchdog at the Rhode Island State House, who is our eyes and ears for action that will impact our license and our profession. We are dedicated to promoting the advancement of the science and art of opticianry and encourage increasing the scope of practice for licensed opticians. What are our major accomplishments in 2020? We increased our membership this year, yes, even during a pandemic, from 65 to 77 members. We officially formed a 501c6 corporation, fully recognized as a nonprofit by the IRS, which we previously were not. We incorporated our new organizational name with the state of Rhode Island. Uh, we changed our name a couple of years ago and now we are officially incorporated at the state level. We amended our bylaws to include ABO certified as well as Rhode Island licensed, giving them the ability to hold executive office at the OARI. We hosted a series of COVID-19 best practice Zoom meetings, encouraging people to discuss best practices for reopening, and they were very successful. In the pro we're in the process of professionally redesigning our website with a, with a goal of completion by November 1st. So hopefully as we're viewing this um, webinar today on the 8th, we will have that complete. It's very professionally done and it looks great so far. We participated, of course, in this educational collaboration with the other New England states to form this unique experience called One Opticians of New England. So we were happy to participate in that this year. Our endeavors and goals for 2021 will be additional high school outreach, education, educating um, high school students on our profession. The Student Scholarship Fund for opticianry students. Now that we have increased membership and we're increasing our funds, we need to bring this program back and we will. It's an important program and we will do that. We, we are in talks with New England Technical Institute for a possible new opticianry program at that <clears throat> university with the hopes of starting in September of 2021. So keep our fingers crossed we are in uh, talks with them for the program uh, being at New England Tech. We will do additional philanthropic outreach with Title I elementary schools in our state, supported by our, by our vendor partners, providing quality eyewear and eye exams to the less fortunate in our state. And we are collaborating with the local <clears throat> excuse me, Special Olympics to have OARI volunteers supporting their annual event at URI in 2021, hopefully. 
Thank you so much for your kind attention. That is the State of the Union for Rhode Island. Good morning. My name is Eric Williams, and I proudly serve as the president of the Opticians Association of Vermont. You can find our State Society website at oavonline.com or oavonline.org. The mission of the Opticians Association of Vermont is to enhance the quality and growth of opticianry through education, representation, and legislation for the visual well-being of the public. Our board of directors is made up of four elected volunteers with elections occurring every two years. We are President Eric Williams, Vice President Jenna Check, Treasurer Misty Horrigan, and Secretary Hannah Cannon. We are a member state of the Opticians Association of America, or OAA, and have had two of our members serve on its board of directors over this past year. We have also had two representatives serve on the board of directors for the Vision of Hope, the charitable arm of the OAA. We may be small, but we make the most we can from what we have. Vermont has the lowest population of any licensed state in the U.S., We have the second lowest total population overall of any state. Our population of approximately 624,000 people is served by 120 licensed opticians, 64 of which are active members of the OAV. Our percentage of licensed opticians, who are also active members of their state society, exceeding 50% annually, is the highest of any state in the country. We are able to accomplish this by delivering two exceptional educational conferences every year, providing a beautiful location, excellent food, and the best speakers in the country. We are a passionate group of board directors and members, and I've been proud to serve them and you for over 10 years. Viva Vermont! Hi everyone, I'm Blair Wong, and I'm honored and privileged to be the executive director for the Opticians Association of Massachusetts in offering this report. The OAM takes great pride in its 80 year history of serving Massachusetts licensed optician as the beacon of vision for advancing our profession, creating continuing education programs that are intriguing, innovative and engaging and advocacy for the protection and preservation of our Massachusetts license. We have a great board of directors who are dedicated and devoted to serving Massachusetts opticians. They contribute time away from their businesses and family to serve on behalf of others. And we invite you to attend our virtual annual meeting, Wednesday, November 18th, as we um, nominate and elect our 2021 slate of officers and directors. We concentrate in five major areas of serving the association, communication in forms of social media, electronic newsletters, our website, and e-blast communication. We have two meetings a year for continuing education, the spring and the fall. We have many events for um, professional networking, as well as for raising scholarships for students. We uh, promote our profession to the general public in terms of branding so that they learn about what opticians do and how to become opticians. And we also promote and market our association in support of other state associations across the country. Uh, We're a uh, well-organized, association with bylaws, established bylaws, and we have frequent legislative activity to preserve and protect our license. We have um, many affiliations and partnerships. Uh, One of our most uh, important affiliations is a state member associate of the Opticians Association of America. We also Um, help develop and plan their leadership conference on an annual basis. Uh, We're very thankful and appreciative to the established corporate partner relationships and partnerships that we have uh, throughout the industry. Our partnership with the Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology Optitiary Program, which we established in 2006 with them, and of course with the Optical 
Heritage Museum in Southbridge, Massachusetts, where you can find many artifacts and, and optical treasures. We have many other endeavors throughout the year that we're involved in uh, with outreach programs to other state associations and high schools. Uh, we have a COVID impact committee uh, with regard to the current pandemic. And we have regular attendance at the board of registration meeting each month. And lastly, on behalf of the opticians of New England, uh, we welcome you to this conference today and are grateful for your participation. And we're also appreciative and feel honored to work with all the New England state associations in creating this unique and wonderful continuing education event. Have a great day, everybody, and enjoy the conference.